Thank you so much <laughs> for the third time uh, for doing this with us. I really appreciate it. Um, I, I want to get to your request for this uh, classified briefing. I understand that you guys have a lot of questions about who these uh, people are who are on the terror watch list, just a lot of who, what, why, when, where. Can you get to some of the information that you're hoping to find out uh, from this briefing? We should be able to. <clears throat> and in this briefing, I requested the director of the FBI and CIA to give the briefing to the four leaders who are part of the Gang of Eight, so there shouldn't be anything that could be held back. Number one question we're going to ask is, who are these individuals? They weren't caught together two separate days. So we know people on the terrorist watch list are coming into America. How are they coming in? Uh, how many do we assume got through that we did not catch? Why were they on the watch list? What were they doing coming into the country? Do we have any intel based upon what did they have planned once they entered into the country? Who were they going to meet up with? Um, remember, these individuals are on the terror watch list, but they're not coming from Central America. They're from Yemen. Um, when I was at the border um, almost a month ago, I was told by a number of border agents the number of countries from Turkey, from Yemen, from Sri Lanka, and others that individuals they've been catching coming across the border. And now we've got data that's showing more than a thousand people come across every day that don't even get encountered. So this is a real concern. Um, who are they? How did they get here? What is their mission? And why are they coming? What do they have planned? So the fact that they didn't arrive together, does that make you think that there might be some sort of information where people who are on the terror watch list are, understand that there are holes at the border or some sort of a, an entry point that they could exploit and now that there's chatter that that's being um, used by multiple different people who may or may not be affiliated to each other? Is that what I, I'm gathering from what well, you said? It, it makes me more concerned that they were not together. So that's two separate times coming from Yemen, and they got in. So why were they coming in here? Why were they on the watch list? What did they have planned in America? Who were they going to meet up with in America? Were these two going to meet each other and other people inside here? Um, that is a real concern. I want to know from the FBI and the CIA, and they should brief all the leaders. And I also requested that the vice president be there as well. I know she hasn't been to the border. I don't know if she's ever been briefed on this, but I think it'd be important that all the leaders, because this isn't about Republican or Democrat. This is about the security of our nation, and everybody should be making sure our nation is secure. FBI Director Ray is set to testify on the Hill next week. Are you concerned that that setting wouldn't allow him to share the extent of the answers you're looking for? Well, yes, because when they're briefing the four leaders and the vice president, there is a different level of classification that they can share with us. We're part of the Gang of Eight. They can share everything with us. When they're in an open setting where um, Director Ray would be with members of Congress, there's much that he could not say. We would, be, we would be in a skiff. This wouldn't be for public. But he could tell us directly of what is the national security consequences of these individuals coming in, coming at different times. Are there other people? Because we have known, when I said more than three weeks ago, that there are people on the terrorist watch list being caught. And what was concerning to me, the number of members, unfortunately, from the other side of the aisle in Congress, who thought I was lying. And now, not only was I not lying then, it's proven even further, because this came in in January. In two separate occasions, they caught people from Yemen. And think of it, what it takes to be on a terrorist watch list. And why would somebody from Yemen be coming into America via Mexico to California? Is that the easiest entry point? Um, and who have we not caught that are now inside the country? I saw uh, what you're referring to with Ruben Gallego accusing you basically of um, lying about this information. Yeah. When you when you put this request into the FBI and CIA, have you gotten any sort of a response? Well, I just put it in yesterday. I expect to get a briefing as a leader and having the other four leaders there with the vice president. And if you listen to Ruben Gallego, I mean, he challenged me as a saying I was lying, and he said he was getting the same briefing that I was. That's a real concerning to me that he did not know about this being on the border. You had another congresswoman criticize me as well. This should not be a partisan issue. This is about the security of the nation. One terrorist in this nation is too much. But now we knowingly know that they are coming across the border. 